it's kind of poignant for me that uh, one of your early media appearances was in a place that really embraced that kind of vision, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Uh, tell me about, about uh, being on with Fred Rogers and what that was like. When I was a kid, we didn't have a TV at home. And so um, I didn't really watch any TV shows. Of course, not to sound ancient, but we also didn't have internet because it wasn't a of thing course. that was in the house. This was the right. 80s. And you would, you know, whenever you would turn on the TV, you would watch what was on. So we would go on an annual vacation to the beach in New Jersey. And um, it was usually like a, a week long or something like that. I would always want to turn on the TV to see if Mr. Rogers was on <laughs> because I saw Mr. Rogers a couple times on one of those trips. And then for the rest of the trip and all the trips that followed every year, I was just always turning on the TV to see if Mr. Rogers was on. Hello. Oh, hello. Hillary, I'd like you to meet Mr. Rogers. Fred Rogers? Hi. Glad to know nice you. Hillary Hahn. Thanks Thank for you. coming in. I'd like you to know our television neighbor, Hi. Hillary Hahn. And I really loved it. And so the mm -hmm. chance to be on the show, I didn't grow up watching Sesame Street. I didn't grow right. up with anything else. It was just in my mind. It was Mr. Rogers or nothing. So mm -hmm. the fact that I got to be on that set and I got to actually tour the set as well as being part of it. I got to meet him. He's mm -hmm. exactly the same person when you would talk to him as he was on the show. And it was really phenomenal to get to be in the same room. I really felt like anything I said could not compare to anything he was saying. So it took a lot of courage to actually participate actively in the episode. Right. Actually, the first thing that I learned was how to bow. How to bow. Yeah, when How you to, go out on stage, uh -huh. when people are clapping, yeah. and you walk out on stage, and then you bow to the audience like this. You that's hold the your very violin first like thing. that, is that it? And then yeah. you bow. I hold like it that. like this. Some people hold it like this uh -huh. when they bow, but I, it depends. Like, whatever I feel like, I just hold it and, and I bow. And that's the first thing you learned to do, yeah. was to bow. And then I didn't really know what information would be helpful or relevant. Mm -hmm. But well, it was wonderful to be in the same room yeah. with him. Were you invited on the show? Did, uh, did mm -hmm. his, his people reach out to you? I don't remember exactly how it happened, no. but yeah. Yeah, it was an invitation. Because I played a lot in Pittsburgh at that time. I think that's probably how it came about. Mm -hmm. I played with the Pittsburgh Symphony really regularly. Lauren Mazel was music director. And, um, you know, Fred Rogers' wife was a pianist. And it was a musical household. So I imagine yeah. there was some overlap there, hmm. but I don't really know how it came about. That sweetness and simplicity, I mean, it's obviously resonated. And I, I think that he probably saw some of that in, in your music and, uh, and wanted to kind of open that world up to, to, his, to his audience. Well, that's very flattering. I, I thought it was really nice to be able to be on the show and play some of the theme songs and then mm -hmm. play a little bit. I was, um, afterwards, I was like, why did I interrupt Mr. Rogers? I interrupted <laughs> Mr. Rogers. Ugh. It's yeah. it's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. What's going through your head in those moments? It's like, it can never be a long enough moment because it's so special. Yeah. And yet it flies by. And yet it time stands still. It was, mm. it was really, and I was definitely fangirling. Yeah. And really sort of present and not present at the same time in the experience. It was really an honor. And that was the first big show I was ever on too. Mm -hmm. So I felt super special Yeah, in a dressing room and a TV station and all of this stuff. So I applaud. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for that. Oh my, you know that just made me feel so happy. Yeah. I, I felt like dancing as you were playing. Yeah. <laughs>